Hello, River's Edge. Welcome back to another Word on a Wednesday, the last one of 2021. Uh, but we'll still encourage you with something today right from God's Word. Uh, Paul has a great word for us being this last week of the year, thinking back over 2021, the second long, weird COVID year, looking into 2022. Uh, he says in Philippians chapter 3, but I focus on this one thing, which that's pretty cool. You think of his crazy life, all the things he had accomplished, four missionary journeys, now he's in jail writing this letter, and he says, I get down to this one thing. So what does he say? He says, I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. Now I always have to stop there and chuckle. I've, I've done a sermon in this passage before. He says this one thing, and then he says, forgetting the past and looking forward to the future. That sounds a lot like two things to me. Uh, but it's his way of emphasizing the one thing, which is really the next phrase. He says, this one thing I do, pressing on, I press on to reach the end of the race. But to do that, he's just simply acknowledging it's not always that easy. We want to do the right thing in 2022, but sometimes we, got, we need to pause. We need to forget the past. We need to look forward to the future with the commitment of, I choose to follow Jesus. I press on for the prize. So let's take his advice. Just pause for a second. Can you forget the past? Probably something this past year wasn't great. He says, forget it. Now he said, maybe not as easy as it sounds, but we can pause and learn from the past. A mistake's only a failure if you fail to learn from it. So think past stuff that maybe you should be doing, could have done differently, and choose to do it differently in 2022. And then forgive the past once we've learned from it. Uh, actually choose to believe that you and others can do better next year. Don't get sucked down into the past and feel trapped there, stuck there. Choose to learn from it, then forgive it, and get on with it, looking forward, focusing on the future. What will 2022 bring? It's the first day of the rest of your life tomorrow. January 1st, the first day of the next year of your life. If you do everything the same, the results will probably be pretty similar. They say insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. So maybe honestly reflect, use this verse this week. Look back, learn what you can, forgive it, get past it, and then focus on the future. What could you be, what could you do differently next year? Take a step in that direction. Really simply ask God sometime this week, God, is there something you're trying to tell me? Something I could do differently, do better, to connect more with you. And then take one step that direction. What's one thing you can do? And maybe in part getting into this book a little bit more. I say that all the time, but I believe it's critical. Maybe it's uh, reading one chapter from a good book every day this year. You'll read 15, 20 books. There's a lot of great books out there. Ask me for some suggestions. Uh, maybe it's showing up at church this Sunday. Start the new year right. You haven't been here for a while? Take a step, show up. You might even hear me say, take a step. Until then, happy new year. Hope to see you Sunday.